Hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today I will be doing a Minecraft video. Um, we lost the Switch. I know, I know, I haven't been doing Minecraft videos in a while. We lost the Switch like a year ago, but um, the reason why I'm recording this on here is because that um, this is probably the only device that actually has Minecraft on here. So, but yeah, anyways. Um, let's get straight into it. So, today we're going to be learning about redstone. Yeah, you heard me, redstone. So, um, you got all this contraption stuff, and you're like, and you may be like, Carter, how does this all work? Like, how does this all work? Well, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, so the first part is, um, you see this redstone block with the piston? Um, well, this redstone block powers this repeater, which powers this part, which powers this part, um, with the piston. And there's a wool block right here, which, which powers this other side with all this other crazy imaginary stuff. Now, you may be asking me, Carter, how does a wool block power all of this? Like, isn't that, is that even possible? Did the Minecraft creator actually add that stuff to it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you in a second here. So, you see, there's this little redstone block right here with this wiring or redstone dust with this repeater right here that is clearly powered by this redstone block or the redstone dust. Now, if we flick the lever, flick the lever right now, See, this wool block goes up, the pink wool block goes up, and it powers this part, which powers all of this other random junk. Now, you're like, wait, how does a pink wool block, I still don't get it, how does a pink wool block power this all? Well, it it's because that whatever the wool color represents, it represents a certain element that allows it to power something. So like pink wool or green wool or blue wool or orange wool or cyan blue or light blue, whatever type of color that is, it will, all those colors will power, will power this. Will power, will have the redstone go through and it will power all of this other random stuff. So, you may be asking me, well, Carter, how does one, how does one actually, how does, like, okay, hold up, guys. So, you may be asking me, Carter, what happens if you actually put a different wool color that isn't any of those colors? Well, you may be wondering and seeing what will happen to find out. So let's say I would grab a red wool block instead of pink wool. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we break this pink wool block and we put a red wool block here. It still works, just only one disadvantage. If you have a redstone comparator in front of here and you're and you might be on a different version, it might not work depending on what type of device you are using. Now, this I'm not so sure of this, but it may work on any device. It depends on if you have a lots of lag or it just doesn't work because that you're not on the correct version. Um, the reason why it works on this device is because that I have a different version which it may work with any other blocks but I'm just using pink wool for now so any type of wool block on this device will work which this device of course is mobile but it's also considered as electronical tablet which is also Kindle Fire but also Amazon tablet and Maddie's tablet is a Kindle Fire this one is um, just a regular fire tablet. 
The reason why Maddie's tablet is a Kindle Fire is because it, it's smaller than Holden's tablet. Smaller. Yeah. We're gonna. Anyways, um, so, then after that, wait, what the heck? Which, are you having hiccups or what? Uh, okay. Anyway, so, with all of this redstone comparison stuff, with all this power things, um, this really does make a great, um, appearance with redstone contraptions and stuff like that. Oh, frick, dang it. No, not again. Guys, I'll see you when I get it done. As I was saying, we are, this, all of this stuff can power um, anything like this redstone block. So this redstone block will power this part. And this part, of course, which is the redstone repeater, is set to four ticks. But, why does it power this so quickly than just having four seconds to power all of this? Well, I'll tell you why in a second here. So you see all these redstone comparators right here. You see all these redstone comparators. If the amount of ticks is set on a repeater and there's four redstone comparators in front of it, it will go back to its normal capacity speed of just having one tick on there. If you set this repeater to one tick and you put all of these here, you may be wondering, what would happen? Well, let's see. Let's turn it off and turn it back on again. It takes longer. That means that if you set this part to want a, just a regular tick with all these other redstone comparators, it takes four seconds to power all of this. That's right, it takes four seconds. It does the exact opposite. And if we do it this time with just four ticks, it does it a lot quicker. Now, that is a special trick that you can use during redstone to hide your redstone. Most likely to actually be making maps using redstone comparisons with all sorts of other stuff. Now, um, you may be wondering, well, for all those redstone tech people, you're like, well, Carter, where's all the observers? Like, are those still in Minecraft 1.8018? Well, let's say they are, but in technological version, they are also used for other purposes because that now, Minecraft doesn't have candles in it, which I've been looking it up on here and on the Xbox. 1.18 no longer has candles for Xbox, neither mobile, which is, which sucks. Absolutely sucks. And for all those, and for all those computer people out there, are candles still available? If they aren't, leave a like. Because that I cannot find them on uh, Xbox or mobile. So, yeah. But, yeah. Now, since we have um, spy glasses we can use them for Hello Neighbor maps. So I will be working on Hello Neighbor nap maps for a while, a new one. This is going to become a remastered version because that um, nowadays people are just like, well, why can't I have binoculars, like real looking binoculars that are uh, you don't need mods for? 
Well, I can tell you how to do that, guys. I can tell you. So what you can do is you can go ahead and just grab a regular texture pack or whatever. <clears throat> and you get a spyglass. And you use that texture pack on the spyglass and it will turn into binoculars. Um, I will not be using texture packs because texture packs take a really long time to do on mobile. And I don't know how to do it on mobile either. You may be asking me, just watch a video. Everything that I've been doing on a video so far hasn't been working. <clears throat> so, like, um, this other one where I tried it on the Xbox. It didn't work because of the PC. It said that your um, file computer is out of date. Which meant that I had to give out personal information and it didn't work because of the site on there couldn't be reached because that it is no longer available as a site. And if you search it up, he said that he would do it in a link. That's not on Xbox, it's on mobile. I was looking on mobile. And I do not have the links for things in description, which is pretty, pretty, pretty not cool. And it is in the version of 1.16, which was like a while ago. So yeah, I, this is version 1.18 only. I don't know how to switch versions because then mobile and Xbox are uh, probably don't have version switches available right now. So yeah, I can't switch versions, which absolutely destroyingly sucks. That's another disadvantage to life that I have. But anyways, let me check the recording amount and um, see how much we have. So guys, we only have three more minutes to explain stuff um i won't be doing any observer things but right now it's just ending the video so if you guys would like more minecraft episodes i would really appreciate doing that but first you gotta leave a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell before i leave so guys yep for the challenge if this video hits three likes I will do another Minecraft video. Everybody wants another Minecraft video, eh? I will like this video myself just to give you all a head start. So that way you can like this video right now. So that way there will be more Minecraft episodes on other things like building and survival. I will be doing the Heller Neighbor map in um, a couple of months. It may take a few, it may take at least a few months to finish the Hello Neighbor map. But I will be doing that in a couple of my other episodes and then I will be doing it when I finish it and I will publish it to be a real Minecraft world. If you go to a Minecraft world, um, and you search it up as a seed playing, then it should teleport you to the Minecraft Hello Neighbor map. I will put the map in the link in the description below when I post that video. If the seed does not work, then I will try to give a link to it. But if it, that doesn't work either, then I might have to publish it to the marketplace in order for it to work. But I have to have a Microsoft account. So I will be doing that in uh, probably a couple of months and talk my mom and dad to, in, to giving me a Microsoft account. And I will see you all in the next video. I will also be doing survival videos um, sometimes on every Saturday or Sunday. But I will be doing a survival video today at a certain random amount of time. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.